Hi. Hi. So. No, it's fine. Good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. Um, please, I'm going to room two or three. Okay, room two or three. Does yes. the person know you're coming? Uh, reception. Uh, okay. <gasps> Hi. I'm sorry. 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 We're not watch where you're going. Watch where I'm going. Girl, you are the one wearing a sunshade in a place where there is no sun. You should take it out so you can see clearly. Yeah. You're happy now? You are so dumb. Girl, dumb. Yes, you are. You see, from the look in your eyes, I can see your titty from that thing you've been drinking. Huh? Yes! Then what? Are you done insulting me? That's enough, please. This is a hotel. What? This is a hotel? You said this is a hotel? Sorry, ma, we don't condone violence. Did you see her attitude? <laughs> 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 Upstairs in my room. Wow. Yes, it's a Katia water resistance watch. <laughs> Thank you. But I'm not happy with you. I know. Why didn't you come to the bar yesterday? I told you I've arrived. I'm sorry. I had a whole lot of work to do, so I couldn't leave the office. But that's by the way. How was London? London is fine, but you're always working. One day you're going to wake up and realize you're 50 and still single. Uh-huh. You've got to loosen up a bit. <laughs> Go on dates. Don't be so boring. I know. It's it... not good for a young girl. <laughs> Listen, it's not like maybe I don't like to go on dates, but the kind of love I want hasn't found me yet. Okay. I want a fairy tale, something that would lead to marriage immediately. Yes. <laughs> Trust me, it's going to happen. And when it happens, you'll be the first to know. Of course I would. <laughs> I think Rex is cheating on me again with his ex. Why would you think that? You said you guys were good and he had cut her off. I know I said that, but you know, some time ago I saw a test on his phone that she now stays in Abuja. So this video shoot he went for was in Abuja. And I told him I wanted to visit him but he totally disagreed. Each time I call him, he wouldn't take my calls. And when he do picks up, he would tell me that he was busy. Reg, you're a beautiful woman in and out. You deserve the best. You don't have to settle for the less. If you're not comfortable, then quit. Stop allowing Rex take you for a ride. But I love him so much. Pam. The best man will come. I love him. Okay? He keeps saying sorry that he wouldn't do that again. I don't even know why I take him back. So things gotta be. So much. Mm. You look amazing, you know. Thank you. It's all for you. I know. So, how was the job you went to Abuja to do? Hope my contacts paid you well. Yeah, they did. Oh, thanks to you for giving me connections to work for big people. Mm. Hmm? You're welcome. You know I love you so much. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> I missed you. Me too. Why don't you sit down? Hmm? Uh huh. And allow me to go in and freshen up. Okay. Guess what? What? I'm taking you out for dinner. 
All right. <laughs> Coming up. All right, I'm waiting for you. I've been calling Pamela and she's not taking my calls. She's never there whenever I need her. She's always stuck with work. Is that why you are crying? She's the only friend that I have. I saw your test. I walked really late yesterday. I called you all through the night, but you didn't pick up. I was so broken, Pamela. I'm really hurting. I'm sorry I wasn't there last night and you had to go through that alone. Please forgive me. I got you something. It's beautiful. You like it? I love it. Just like the one I got you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, um, 
There is something I need to tell you. You were right. He doesn't deserve me. It's just sad that I, I got myself fooled again. Regina, stop running back to him. He will dump you and go back to her. Why do you keep doing this to yourself? You say that like it's easy. He's the first man I ever loved. You don't listen. He will keep breaking your heart. I love him, Pam. You can love someone else. I sing I don't know the song. Hi. Hello. Are you looking for something? Well, I don't have any particular one in mind. You don't have any particular one in mind? Um, why don't you take this? <laughs> no, I don't want that. You don't want this? No. Then I'm not going to sell anything else to you. Okay then, bye. Hey, hey, hey. sorry, 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 please. I, I, I'm just kidding. I, I was just joking. You can have this. I don't want it anymore, thank you. I mean, who was that? And what is going on here? It's just some girl I met, trying to ease up the stress. What's going on here? What is she doing here? And who is this? Um, babe, please. Relax, okay? And what are you doing here, Regina? I wanted to call me that you were coming. I thought you said it was over with her. That is what you told me, Rex. Is this why you haven't picked my call all day? Why do you keep doing this to me? I'm the one who is always there for you. Helping you in your career. I'm the one who's always there helping you when you get sick. Can't you tell her to leave you alone that you love someone else now? Stop creating a scene here, okay? I don't want this. You and I know that I love Linda here so much. And what we had was different. But I love you, Rex. I love you. I really do. I'm the one who's always there for you. And you told me the last time that I'm the one you love now. I, I, I may have said a lot of things, Regina. And I am sorry. But I can't get my heart to love you the same way you love me. Okay? I, I love Linda here so much. And she is back to my life for good now. So if you don't mind, please just leave. Okay? You hurt me, Rex. You broke my heart again for this thing that has no value for hey, you. Hey, hey. Hold it, dear. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Running after a man that doesn't want you. Why don't you save yourself some respect and use the door? Huh? Big 
ko pa piko Pick your call. Pick up. <laughs> Why not call Pamela? I won't. She will only blame me for everything. All this place reminds me of pains and bad memories. Even Pamela, she only reminds me of the time she was never there for me. But me, I'm always there for her whenever she needs me. So I've decided to go back to London in two weeks time. So I'm back on my old life and start all over again. So, I would hope you will take care of this place till I'm back. I'll keep in touch with you. But you won't give anyone my contact unless I tell you to. Even Pamela? I speak. 
especially Pamela. She did what? Isabel, tell me this is not true. I tried to reach her after I missed her calls. I, I came to the house three times last week, but it was locked. I know I've been so busy with work, but I kept calling. She came back from the hospital and traveled the next day. How could she do something like that? Uh, Why would she want to take her life? What has come over her? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Bam, bam. Put yourself together. Hmm? Okay, did she tell you when she's coming back? No, she didn't say anything like that. Tell me. Um, it's the girl. Mm -hmm. Please. Mm -hmm. Please, um, whenever she calls you, please let me know, okay? No problem. Okay, please. I'll call you. I'll definitely call you. Oh? I'll stop crying. It's okay. Oh? All right, I'll, I'll just I'll be on my way. Okay. Please don't forget. I won't. Okay? Oh, I won't. All right. Bye-bye, oh? Bye. All right. I won't. Bye-bye, oh? Okay. I won't. I miss my mom so much, Pamela. I feel so lonely. Why would you say that when I'm here for you, best? But you won't always be here. You have your own life to live. You might one day get a job, maybe get married. No matter what it is, I'll always be here for you. My shoulder will always be available for you to lean on. I will never leave you, bestie. I promise. I promise. The universe keeps bringing us together. Why are you crying? Are you okay? What is the problem? My best friend. She's gone. Did she die? She left the country. I never knew I've been a terrible friend. I'm not always there whenever she calls. I've been so busy writing scripts for ad campaigns. I didn't know I was ignoring what's important. And now she's gone, I can't even call to tell her how sorry I am. Hey. Just wipe your tears. I'm very sure she will get in touch with you once her anger is calm. Okay? Thank you. Welcome. I'm Francis, by the way. 
and Pamela. Did you say that you were into art campaigns or an art agent? Yes, um, I'm an assistant creative director in my art agency. Wow. Now I know why the universe keeps bringing us together. Mm. We do the same work. Mm. <laughs> I'm an art agent. Oh. <laughs> Can I take you somewhere to lighten up your mood? Uh, that will be taking you out of your way. You must have come here to do something. Well, I actually came here to meet up with a client, but I can call to reschedule. Everything else can wait. <laughs> Come. So how often do you come here? At my leisure. It's a leisure, right. Most of my appointments are made with, uh, I'm made with clients uh, always around here. Around you. Yeah, that's right. And I always come here with my friends too. And Anna, she's not here. You're the only one here, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay. Don't worry, I'll just fasten it at home. All right. Bye. Um, excuse me. I want to get into my car. Excuse me. I want to get into my car. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, okay? It's fine. You know what? I've come to learn that no matter how much you worry, it doesn't solve a problem. So whatever it is, 
rise above it. If it makes you happy, you go ahead and get it. If it hurts, you walk very far away from it and don't look back. Thank you so much for these words. I will always remember them. It's okay. She is so special to me. I love her from the bottom of my heart. She means the world to me. She's the first woman I've, I've ever loved. I want to do something. I want to do something, something that makes good memories. But the thing is, I don't even know what to do. I don't even know where to go. As a matter of fact, I, I don't even have cash. <laughs> Francis, I mean, you are truly getting into her. You've just known her for this short period. Kelvin, you will not understand. Haven't you heard about love at first sight? Love at first sight. <laughs> Aside from that, every moment spent with her, it's magical. She's a beautiful soul. And someone once told me, do what makes you happy. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Because I've not been happy in a long while till I met Pamela. Hmm. Oh, la 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 la. <laughs> so, why don't you take her to a resort? I mean, the both of you can spend the weekend there. I guess it will be fun. Brilliant idea, but I guess you didn't hear what I said, right? I said I don't have fun, I don't have cash. My family expenses took all my salary. Okay, don't worry. I'll pay for the weekend for the both of you at my uncle's resort. How about that? You going to do that for me? Of course I will. Come on, I always watch your back. You should have, bro. Sure. <laughs> I will do that for you. Thanks, man. <laughs> Yes, sir. I'm seeing someone. I know. You know? Yes. <laughs> Her name is Pamela. She's so beautiful. So kind hearted. So much in love with her. <laughs> My son, there are so many things you need to know about love. Hmm? Love is not something you Mama, just. Mama, Mama, I know, I know. Because you thought me. I'm also aware of how my father treated you so badly, the pains you went through. 
I know. <laughs> and that's why when I get married, it will be one woman and forever. I promise you, I will never treat her the way my father treated you. Never. That's my son. So are you happy for me? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> So, when do I get to see this Pamela of a girl? Very soon. Hmm? Very soon. Okay. That would be nice. Hmm? You love her, Mama. Okay. I hope so. Uh, hmm. So. Yeah. She worked so hard. <laughs> yeah, I just want to get involved in the house agency as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a side hustle, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Another thing I'm looking at, and which, uh, which of course I know is going to take a lot of time, is uh, the real estate. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, you know, you have to do these things to survive and work harder. All right. The harder we work, the just better for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. All that, you know, doesn't really matter. Ah, sometimes it does. Because if you don't get to work, it, look. I love you, Pamela. I love you so much. I need to work hard for our future. I know you're from a wealthy family. You know all that does not matter. But that's a reality that I cannot you know. <laughs> you're already doing that. Well, I guess I need to do more. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Welcome, I love it. You like it? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Okay. So. Wow. So, this is it? This is where you live? Yes. And um, I would have loved to invite you in, but I want the day I will introduce you to my family to be perfect. That's okay. I understand. <laughs> All right? Alright, thank you. Alright, um... <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, bye. Oh, thank you. Alright. Who was that? Um, well, that was um, Francis. We're dating. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before now. I just wanted to wait for the perfect time to tell you. Good looking. Yes, Mary. And I like him when I meet him. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, you're going to like Francis. He's a wonderful person. What does he do? Uh, he's into real estate and he's also an ad agent. 
He's hardworking. He's handsome. Yes. I hope he's nice too. Mom, oh my God. Francis is so nice. Mm. Trust me, you get to like him. Pamela, I don't have the world to give you. I don't have the moon, I don't have the stars to give you. But what I do know is that I love you. I love you so much. From the bottom of my heart. I love you too. And I will prove to you that I'm worthy of your love. I'll make sure I do everything necessary. Thank you. Not just that. But I will also work so very hard to make you happy and always put a smile on your face. <laughs> I love you too. Mr. Francis, I'm all about my daughter's happiness. I just hope you're a nice person. Mom, he's very kind. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mom, for accepting me in your home. You're welcome. Always. Thank you. My sister is an amazing soul. Hmm? So I hope you will take proper care of her. I'm not hurt her. I won't. <laughs> of course, I promise not to hurt her. She means the world to me. Thank you. Thank you for loving my daughter. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, a shoulder that you can rest your head on whenever you are down. I want to be faithful to you. I want to be whatever you want me to be. But I can't. Because I'm not your husband. Pamela, will you marry me, please? Please. Please marry me, please. Will you marry me? Yes, I will marry you. You will marry me? Yeah. You'll promise you'll marry me? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, darling. Thank you so much. So why don't we get married next tomorrow at the registry? Next tomorrow? Yes, trust me. Kelvin's sister has come back there and then she's going to make all the arrangements for our marriage. Trust me, daddy, this is going to be an unforgettable moment of our love story. So trust me, it's going to be so unique. Are you game? Okay. We're game. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Thank you so much. What sort of drastic decision have you made? Pamela, do you want to kill me? What, what is the meaning? 
beginning of this rush. What was that? At least you should have informed us. Eh? No one is stopping you from getting married. But doing it without us is totally wrong. Eh? It's wrong. I hope you can take good care of my daughter. She's my only daughter. If there's a time you stop loving her, I beg you, don't hurt her. Bring her back home to me. Please. I promise never to hurt her. so much. Thank you. How could you, Francis? How could you take such a decision without letting me know? in this house and now you bring in a wife how can you disrespect me like this mama that wasn't our plan it just happened besides it, it was my suggestion she has also decided to get us an apartment to live so don't worry about us so you married her because of money then why would you say that? I marry her because of money. I love her. We love each other. Besides, she's one person I want to spend the rest of my life with. Just consider her as an extra person in the family. You have a son, she's a daughter, and we are one big happy family. Hmm. Please, Mama. Mm. Wow. 
is beautiful. It's beautiful, darling. Do you like it? Of course I like it. <laughs> Thank you so much, baby. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. Thank you so much for making me a proud man. I love you. I love you more, baby. Okay, so come, 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 come. Come show me around. Now tell me exactly where is uh where's that leading to at this place where? Is that leading to the room or the No, it's this. This way to the room. Yes. Okay, come here! <laughs> let's go! <laughs> that we're going to be late for work and I thought you said you have this new client that contacted you yesterday that wants to meet today of course I'm aware of that okay but we can be late sometimes you know after all we have our own different firms we are bosses huh? four years of hard work we've earned it darling I like the sound of that and a boss is always right. I know. You are so handsome, you know? And you can make me miss work. But just like, you know, I don't joke with my business. Oh, come here, Susie. Sometimes it's a problem. It's a problem, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why are you beating daddy? Babe, you see, I'm not 
meeting daddy. Huh? Mr. Damijo? Yes, ma'am. Oh. Nice meeting you. Yeah, Mr. Please, Obito. you can have a seat. Thank you. So, um, like I told you over the phone, I want my house sold as soon as possible. That's the only reason I'm here. Yeah, you get your commission and I get my money. So, uh... As soon as I'm in possession of the house papers, I will take it to the local government and uh, get back to you in the soonest. Okay, so can I get a feedback this evening? Yeah, most definitely. All you have to do is uh, text me your address and uh, I'll meet you up. All right, that's fine. Oh, here is the house papers you demanded. Okay, good. Um, I guess I have to take my leave so I can get on it. All right, thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Good. Well, uh, everything checks out good at the local government. I think we are good to go. Good. Because I don't want unnecessary delays. I don't trust Nigerian men. Miss Obi, I'm a gentleman. Straightforward. Very transparent and honest, especially when it comes to my dealings. That, I can promise you. How long have you been in Italy? Why do you ask? Well, you just said you don't trust Nigerian men. For me, Nigeria is the best place to be. There's nowhere like home. Why do people leave their country to other places? A lot of reasons. Some go to seek greener pasture, some poverty, forgetting a memory of loved ones, death, just a lot of reasons. Well, life is like that. It gives you good dreams or bad dreams. Mine gave me reasons to leave this country. So what about you? What has life given you? Well, for me, life wasn't roses from the beginning. Whatever it gives me, I work with it. As long as I have my wife and my son, for me, it's a beautiful thing. You're married, family man. And everything I do is to make them happy. Once they are happy, I'm fulfilled. Lucky you. Well, I don't think I'm caught out for all that. Being married or loving someone. Have you tried to reach Pamela? No. Why? Nothing. I just remembered her. You said she stopped coming after six months. Yes, I did. I stopped seeing her. Ma, why not check on her so that she will know that you have returned? I don't think I can. No. It's right, you do. I, I cannot deceive you. I served your mother. And after she died, I told myself I was going to stay back and serve you too. I see you as my child. Pamela might not be there for you, 
But she loves you. She's your best friend. Experience changes people, Isabel. It was hard going through heartbreaks alone. And I don't know how to face her now. I don't know how we can start over. Besides, I'm not here for too long. Once I sell this house, I'll be gone. Is there nothing I can do to change your mind? Regina! Regina, please. Why were you looking for me? To say sorry. Sorry for everything. Sorry for not being there for you. Sorry you, you fought for your life while I was so busy with work. Just to say sorry for everything. I could have died. I'm leaving. Hey, babe. Yeah. I need your help. Please, uh, my car is 40, so I will. So just that you please drop me over to my client's place. Will you do that for me? Why not? Great, thank you. Oh, yes, thank you so much, darling. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you very much, darling. I'm going to mess up my lip gloss. Yes, I'm not going to do that, darling. Come on. <laughs> This is, um, Regina's house. My best friend I told you about. Really? Okay. I'm sorry for all you went through. Every day I hoped and prayed to God to bring you back to me. And I'm glad he did. I'm glad too. I used your name as my son's godmother. I refused using anyone else. You should come meet him. I will. Pretty son. Do you both want anything? I have cookies and juice. That's fine.
I can't wait to sell off all my mom's properties and leave this place. Everything about this place brings pain and bad memories. Why do you always sound like this? Did someone hurt you? I dated. He was my first love for three years. He hurt me repeatedly. He never told me he didn't love me. Until the last time, he told me he would never love me the same way that I loved him. So I moved to London. In London, I got hurt too. Then I moved to Italy. So you kept running each time you fell in love and got hurt? All my life, I have lived a lonely life. My mom and dad broke up. My mom died. And Pamela, she's always busy with work. She's my best friend, but she never has my time. Everything about love hurts. Especially with men. Oh, please. Uh, don't generalize. For me, I can't bear the thought of ever hurting my wife. Never. Um, can you take me to your house to meet your son? My godson, like Pamela said. Oh yeah, sure, why not? Sure. <laughs> T-R-P-R-P-R-A-N Hey guys, how are you? Oh, Regina. <laughs> Welcome to my home. Thank hey, you so man. much. You okay? I asked Good. him to bring me to meet your son. Yeah, he texted me. Your <laughs> son, Frank? Yeah, it's Dave. Oh, Dave. Say hello to Auntie. Dave, hi. Hi, cute boy. Yeah. How are you? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I missed you so much. I missed you too. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, I have to run to the room now, okay? Bye. Regina will update you on progress I've been making that so far on the land and the house. All right. I got it. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Let's run to the room. Yeah. Grab your book. Grab your book. Grab your book. Come on. Regina, look at you. You are so lucky, Pamela. I'm so happy for you. Your life is so perfect. You have a beautiful family. But mine, it's filled with loneliness and sadness. Hmm. Regina, don't say that. No one's life is perfect. Listen, I want to assure you, you have me, you have my husband, and you have my son as your family. We will always be there. But please, please don't lose contact again. It's going to hurt. I promise. I won't do that again. I didn't know I was going to say this. But I really missed you, bestie. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, my Thank you so much, Marina. Thank you, my daughter. Happy birthday, mom. Thank you, son. Now blow your candles. Thank you, sweetie. Ooh, yay. Yay. <laughs> My wish is 
is that the smiles on our faces will remain there permanently forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, my in-law. Mm. Thank you so much, son, for... But mommy was actually my beautiful wife's idea. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, man. You've been a blessing to my family. I am so glad I accepted you into my home as my daughter in law. Mm -hmm. And I will never, ever trade you for anything. You're such a wonderful girl. Thank you. And you have to pay more for stealing my time. Sure. <laughs> 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 okay, so, what do we do now? Cut the cake. Oh, come and join me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, to cake. So, add um. Are the spell of J, J E S U S. Oh, jeez. Wow, oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Oh, Pamela. Thank you so much for making my family and I happy. You know I can do anything for you. I know. You deserve it. Beautiful face. Thank mm. you. <laughs> mm. So you want to go back to your work? Mm-hmm. From here, from here, six here, count your cards with the other man. Five. Leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. Who's there? Two, four, two, two here, two here. Good. Play, 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 play. I'm coming. Two. One, one. Count your one, one. One, good. <laughs> Six two, good. Six two. Hold on, I'm coming. Oh, mm. Six three, let's go, let's go, let's go. I, I, I'll be with you shortly. Five four four five three, good. I'll be right back. Can I? Yeah, please do have a seat. Hi, Hi Dave. How are you doing? Um, <laughs> is Pamela in? Uh, no, she hasn't come back from work yet. Okay. Yeah. So, what have you both been up to? Uh, playing Ludo. Really? Yeah. Dave likes it. Dave, you do? Do you know I like Ludo playing too? I like to play with you. Oh, wow. Let me show you. I'm really good at it. You see? Mm. I'm going to beat you. You see? Oh, that's... What did I say? Sis three. I just got sis three. <laughs> okay, you play. Whoa! <laughs> okay, count it when you count it. Count it, count it, count it. Yes. Yes. It's my turn. Uh huh. What did I say? This is three. No, it's a daddy's turn now.
I, I didn't know when you came in. I guess that's because the music was so loud. Right. <laughs> so, I've been thinking, why run back to Italy when I can stay here and do what I love? So, I no longer want to sell the house, but I want to sell the land and use the money and start up my business, buy equipment and set up my event planning firm. I was really good at it when I was here. Brilliant idea. I guess my wife will be happy that you're not going back again. Mm. Um, one more thing. I would like you to help me get a good space I can rent for my business. Consider it done. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, um, I guess... Um, can I offer you something? Oh, thanks. I, I, I have, a, I have a, a client that I, I need to deal with now. Okay. I guess I have to take my leave. Excuse me. All right. Um, there is... Thank you. Bye. 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 Are you out of your mind? What is wrong with you? He is a married man. Not just a married man. He is married to your best friend. Your best friend, Pamela. You think I don't know all that? I have tried not to think about these feelings, but it keeps coming back. Please, take the feelings back to where he's coming from. Anyhow you can, take the feelings back. Your coming back to Nigeria shouldn't cause a disaster. Right. Remember how you felt when Rex broke your heart? Rex is huh? stupid. Francis is nice. He respects women. He's a man who would take care of whoever he loves. It's hard to let all those qualities go by. Huh? to surprise you. I know I've been so busy with work and then today I decided to clear my table and come spend this moment with you. Mm. Aren't you the sweetest? Hmm? But it's not even my birthday. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, baby. So, let me have this. So, uh, what are we going to the chair store? Hmm? Are we going to the chair store? It's a forever. Forever? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's forever. But I had to put in an extra work, knowing the fact that you mean a lot to my wife. I actually marketed it to one of my top clients. At first, it was so difficult to accept, but I'm glad you found out a date. <laughs> I'm so excited you sold it, and it's a very good price. Now I'm going to get a befitting space for my firm. <laughs> Thank you so much, Francis. You're welcome. You're welcome. It calls for celebration. 
can can we have a drink? Sure. Let's go. <laughs> I'm so glad you made her happy with the saves. Mm -hmm. I mean, she deserves to be happy. She has been through a lot. Yeah. I'm doing all of this for you. Knowing how much you missed you. Thank you. I even found the event center. Take out there tomorrow for inspection. I hope she likes it. Mm, I appreciate those. I mean, I'm so excited she's not leaving anymore. I can't stand the thought of her being so far away from me. Please, whatever she wants, just do it for her, okay? I love her so dearly. Of my life. I was broken. He was a thief. I was bad luck. As if I lose everyone I loved. And Pamela, she was always busy with work. I was the broken hearted girl. I didn't have any reason to leave anymore. But for some reasons now, I'm hopeful that one day I'll find the love that I desire. Of course. One day you will find it. Any man in his rightful frame of mind will see you as a strong, smart, and hard-working woman. And you can get any man you want. Think? I know so. Worry less about it. The man who will treat you right and make you happy will soon come. I'm glad I could share my experience with you without being judged. Thank you for being such a good listener. You're welcome. At least I could, I could be of help. Like my wife said, we are family now. We are part of us. I just, I wish my mother was here. That's okay. That's okay. I'm sorry. You'll be fine. Sometimes life gives a
sorry. I had a lot to do. So I came back. It's, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Why, Steve? It's fine. I know you're not happy I haven't visited. Just a whole lot of work on my table. I'm sorry. Are you okay? It's not you. I've just been sick. Sick? Why didn't you call me to tell me? Huh? You should have called. You always stuck with work. I didn't want to disturb you. I told you to not be like before anymore. Even if I'm so busy, I can still ask my husband to come see you if you're sick. If you're not fine. We're family now. And I don't want you to go through anything alone anymore. Okay? I got you. Okay? Are you okay? Yeah. I'm okay. I'm fine. Babe. You know you can tell me anything, right? Yeah. If it goes, I can't. I love you. I love you so much. I love you too.
Hey, what's going on? Oh, thank God, I got fly. Come here. You did what? It was just a mistake. We were both talking about life and got drunk while on it. It was just a spur of the moment. Spur of the moment? Red, you caught sleeping with your best friend's husband's spur of the moment. Look, look, you have to put a stop to all this. I haven't spoken to him since then. I've tried to get that moment off my mind, but it keeps messing up my head. I am disappointed in you to say the least. But please, before you wreck Pamela, follow your first plan and leave the country till these sick feelings wears off. in my mind, bro. I don't know what to do. I hate myself. I hate myself so much for this. How do I tell my wife that I've betrayed our love? Kelvin, I'm finished. Then tell her the truth. Tell her exactly what happened now that it is still early and free yourself from this guilt. Are you serious? Oh, yes. You think it's that easy? You think it's that easy? Okay, so how do I do it? Francis, it is very easy. Just take her to a nice place. Give her a good treat. Tell her how much you love her and how you wouldn't like anything to come in between the both of you. Then when you get home, you go on your knees, confess to her, tell her everything that happened and how deeply sorry you are. Come on, you can do this, Francis. You can. Yeah. How are you? I'm fine. Thank what you. are you doing here? I'm here to see a client. Oh, okay. Hello, Francis. Hi. Regina. It's good to see you. Me too. So, Pam, um, that's my client over there, so oh. I'll go see him. We'll talk on phone, okay? Alright, that's fine. All right. Hello, Mr. Obi. <laughs> nice to see you too. I think too. the lad Regina is getting her life so. back on track. All thanks to you. <coughs> Are you okay? Huh? I said you helping her get a good space made her change her mind. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, sweetheart. Anything for you. Oh, I don't need your I love you too.
Hi. Hi. I was surprised when you called to say you were coming. I want to say I'm sorry. Sorry for what happened between us. It was a mistake. Hey darling, how are you? Who kept you out so late that you couldn't even pick my calls? Sweetheart, I had a new client who wanted us to meet by 7 p.m. and have a drink over a long discussion. And my phone was on silent all throughout and immediately I got through, that's how I sent you a message just telling you that I'm fine. Yeah, if you didn't send me that message, I would have been so worried. I know. You know, I'm sorry just have to go shower so you can eat. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay, then. <laughs> Be good. Ah. Uh, excuse me. I. I need my phone. Okay. Mm. I got something for you. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Looks pretty expensive. It is. Try it on. The smell is sensual. Oh, wow. <laughs> I know. Trust me. This perfume turns head. And it will make your clients pay attention when you're talking business. I want you to start wearing it. Makes you more attractive too. Hmm. Oh well. Thank you. Do work, come. Let me put it in back for you. <laughs> so I'll keep it here for when you're going. What happened? I've been calling you. There's all those new clients, uh, they're really taking my time. Till midnight?
But what is this for? I know the questions of your heart. You are my sister. And you know I care a lot about you. Francis doesn't have any reason to cheat. So I don't want you to be thinking about that. <laughs> As for this, no knowledge is a waste. Have it. Okay. So what am I supposed to say now? Thank you. You will thank me later. Trust me, Pamela. It's all in your head. Your husband that I've met is a good man. And he loves you so much. Don't go snooping around in your marriage looking for what's not there. Get a hold of yourself, bestie. Thank you. Did I offend you, offend you? I gave you my all, so I make me cry, cost me so much pain.
this morning. Morning. Good morning. You okay? Hi, darling. Well, uh, I actually got this for you yesterday, but I was extremely tired. That's how I went straight to bed. Please come. Please come home early from work. The clients are taking too much of your time. You have a family before them. Remember when you asked me to slow down and I did? Please slow down on the late night meetings. I promise. I will. Thank you. Pamela, you sounded so worried over the phone. Okay, I'm just so confused, honestly. I don't know what to do. What is wrong? I don't know. What's wrong with you? I know... I know you have told me not to worry about... Maybe we should just go inside and talk about it. Yeah. Let's go. Come. So... You need to get it and take care of yourself, okay? Come on. Okay. Talk to you later, okay? All right. Bye.
Hey, sweetheart. I just got a client who just called me from Abuja and he's leaving first flight tomorrow morning. He wants us to meet and discuss about his houses he wants to sell. This night? Yeah, I told him about it, but he insisted. Not to worry, darling. You know, I don't like to stay up late, okay? Before you know it, I'll be right back. All right? Be good, all right? Are you cheating on me? Why would you say such a thing? Are you cheating on me? Sweetheart. Not even a thought has ever crossed my mind. No, I'm not. I'm just going for a business meeting. Like I said, before you know it, I'll be right back. Did I offend you? Offend you? I gave you my love, <laughs> so I make me cry, cost me so much pain. You stopped me in the back, you broke my trust and bond. Seems like a dream, can't believe it's reality. All the stars. But I will be okay Give me one good reason why I should love you Why I should trust you After all that you've done Give me one good reason why I should believe Or have faith in you After you betrayed all we had just one good reason Give me One good reason Give me One good reason Just one good reason After you betrayed all we had You betrayed all we had All we had
did I go wrong? How did I offend you? I gave you my love. Same person. To help get her life back together. <laughs> How do you even sleep at night, Francis? <sighs> so I make me cry, cost me so much pain. <laughs> Sorry. You stopped me. You broke my trust and son Seems like a dream Can't believe it's reality All the stories and the lies Did you think I won't find out? Yes, I am pain But I will be okay Give me one good reason Why I should love you Why I should trust you After all that you've done What are you saying? <coughs> what? No, that it was Loji. <laughs> Why are you saying? Why this wasn't what you promised me. After seeing all your father did to me and how broken I was. He promised me that you grow into a better man that would love his wife. Then why this? Why? My daughter did nothing but to love you. Stood by you. I made sacrifices for you. But what did she get in return? A broken heart by the two people she trusted the most. Francis, why? I begged you, why break her heart like this? Why? <laughs> Mother, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I love my wife. I love my wife so much. I'm so ashamed of the mistake I've made. Please. Please beg my wife for me. fix it because I don't want to lose my daughter in law
I've been worried about you. Please, forgive me. I'm so sorry. Please, my love. It hurts more because they are two people you cared for so much. <laughs> Take it easy. Huh? You have us standing by you and your son to be strong for.
trade all we had. Give me just one good reason. Give me one good reason. Give me one good reason. Just one good reason. After you betrayed all. I need to see Francis. You need to see a doctor, not Francis. I need to see Francis. That's what I need, not a doctor. Why hasn't he called me all this while? You are clearly out of your mind. After the damage you have caused, you can't have your friends, man. Remember, I warned you. I warned you, and now you've been abandoned. Only God knows why, why Pamela has not confronted you. If I were you, I would be on the next flight out of the country. I'm not going anywhere because of Pamela. What if it's her husband? But he likes me too. That's why he makes out time for me and buys me gifts. So you'd rather be a mistress than to have your own man? When I had my own man, Different men I dated, they all toyed with my heart. So if someone else's man will care for me the way I want, why not? I am sure it is your sickness that is making you talk like this. You really need to see your doctor. So you still remember the way to my house? I know I should have come to at least say I'm sorry. But I need to save my home. My wife is gradually drifting away from me. And I shouldn't be seen with you. You think Pamela is the only one hurting? I'm heartbroken too. For the past week, you abandoned me. I thought you cared about me. Regina, please. Pamela is your best friend. Why are you not concerned about her happiness? Why didn't you think about that before getting with me? But the thing is, like, you, you used me into this. You gave me the green light. You told me I can have any man that I want. 
And I've seen the way you look at me with so much desire. I only gave you what you wanted. I'm sorry. It was a mistake. Judy, it was a mistake, and I'm sorry if you feel that I led you into this. But I love my wife, and I need to sort this mess I have made. But I love you. You told me you were not like other men. Why do you want to hurt me the way they did? Please, Francis, don't do this to me again, please. Regina, 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 please, just stop it. I can't love you, okay? I love my wife. My wife is my life. My son is my soul. I can't hurt them like this. I, I, I'm sorry for making you think that I, I, I love you, but I can't. Please stay away so I can mend this with my family. Okay? God. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant for you, Francis. Ah! Hi, Francis. Take it easy before you choke yourself. I'm dead. Kelvin, I'm dead. Listen, the truth will always come out. It's better she hears it from you than to find out herself. Good. Come on, come on, Galistin. I advise you pull yourself together and do the needful. Okay? Come on, you're a man. to you that it was always going to be you even though I messed up but there is no one can take your place I a piece of me piece of my love story to be told. I can't. I can't live without you. I just want to go on without you. I hurt you. I broke you. Please allow me to mend the heart I have broken. Please. Please. Don't turn your heart on me. Please don't turn our smiles into memories. I beg you.
Regina! You have the nerves to still call my husband. Is it because I've been cool on your insane self? You want my husband? You're so jealous of my life you had to seduce him? You don't want that. You want trouble. And I will give you trouble. Empty words, Pamela. Empty words. You are just blabbing empty words. Jealous of you? For what? For your boring life? You were so boring. And that was why Francis looked my way. Are you mad he's going to be mine? He's my husband. Mine, Regina. You have nothing. You are sick and insane. And that is why nobody wants you. He's yours. Your husband is yours. Then why did he lie to you just to come and stay with me? Why did he cheat on you if he loves you? What is making you believe those lies? Why did he buy me a gift if you're his family? You lying. <laughs> you're the one who is not. The only reason Francis wants to make things right with you is because you're married. Because of what society would say. He would want me even if he knows what he was doing was wrong. I gave him fun and he kept coming back. So why not go fix yourself and get out of my way? You did not! Oh, get out! Oh, no! 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 No!
broke my trust and found Seems like a dream, can't believe it's reality All the stories and the lies Did you think I won't find out? Yes, I am pain, but I will be okay Give me one good reason why I should love you Why I should trust you After all that you've done Give me one good reason why I should believe Or have faith in you After you betrayed all we had Give me just one good reason Give me one good reason Give me one good reason Just one good reason After you betrayed all we had You betrayed all we had Try to find you for weeks, but to no avail. I miss you. I miss my son. You ruined what we built, Francis. I lost my friend because of you. You slept with her and got her pregnant. I want to be able to love you again. But I have so much doubt in me. How can we have a good home? with all these flaws, without trust. You can't trust me again. <laughs> I can build it. <laughs> maybe, maybe sometime in the future, when this pain is over, we can find ourselves and start on a clean slate. For now, my heart has no room for the both of us. Beating daddy. Where did I go wrong? How did I offend? 